Today we want to talk about statistics and parameters. Remember that the name of the course you're taking is statistics. So we probably deal a whole lot more with statistics than we do parameters. I set up this table in the middle because we wanted to talk about a statistic and parameter in relation to a mean, a standard deviation, and then a proportion. So, I mean, here it is pretty simply. A statistic is about a sample and a parameter is about a population. When I have data that's quantitative, it makes sense for me to find the mean and standard deviation. So this is quantitative data. And when I have something that's categorical, then it makes sense for me to find a proportion or a per percentage. So categorical. So if I'm dealing with the sample rather than the population, the mean of my data is x bar. If I'm dealing with the entire population, the mean is mu. If I'm looking at the standard deviation of the sample, that's s, when the variance would be s squared, right? Because the variance is the standard deviation squared. And the standard deviation of the population would be sigma, when the variance would be sigma squared. Notice I'm using um, these uh, mu and sigma for my population and x bar and s for my sample. And if I have categorical data, then my percentage or my proportion for the sample is p hat, and for the population is just plain old p. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about just an example here. Let's say that I had a population that was intro stats students. So my population is intro stats students. So here are all of you guys. All 80 of you are in this little bubble right here. And what I want to do is I want to take a sample. Out. And so I have to decide if I want to take a sample uh, by stratifying by grade level or stratifying by teacher or maybe I decide to cluster. A cluster sample might be great because it's easy for me to put you into groups of first period, fourth period, fifth period, not sixth period, seventh period, and eighth period. And so I number these first periods 1, fourth periods 2, fifth periods 3, 4, 5, and then I randomly pick a number. Maybe I randomly pick 4, which means that while my population is all intro stat students, my sample will be 7th period intro stat students. And now I decide to ask them a question. So seventh period intro stat students, here they are right there. That's seventh period. So I go and ask them a question. And I could ask them something that is quantitative, or I could ask them something that's categorical. So I could say, um, like, how many miles? Do you live from school? Do you live from you prep? And some people are going to say one mile, and some people are going to say 10 miles, and some people are going to say four miles, and some people are going to say five miles. And when I ask seventh period, that's going to become an x bar because it's about the sample. It's the mean of the sample. When if I went and asked all intro stat students, that would be a mu. But I didn't go and ask all intro stat students, so I don't know what mu is here. I only know x bar. I only know what seventh period told me. If I wanted to do categorical data, I could say something like, uh, what's your favorite animal at the zoo? And maybe I find out that people like the penguins and people like the monkeys and the bears um, and the flamingos, but maybe I figure out that 15% 
of seventh period likes the penguins. That's a p hat because it's about the sample. I don't actually know the percentage that like the penguins for all students. I only know the sample. All right, so that's it. So simply the statistic is about the sample, and this is the notation that we use, and the parameter is about the population, and this is the notation that we use. Yay, stats.